Hello and welcome to the next R2D2 video and I promise it will be a lot calmer but no less enjoyable than Wednesday's video which was all a bit all over the place because of electronics and stuff. This um, is a much more simpler two issues, issue um, 86 and 87. Is that what we're on? Is that what we're doing? I can't remember. Yeah, issue 86 and 87. Um, it's a much more simpler issue than last Wednesday and if you did miss la if you did miss last Wednesday's video go back and check that out because we are doing issue 86 and issue 87 this time so to start off with then issue 86 we have these parts here and these parts make up another tool that goes into the body of R2D2 so to start off with we need to get to this part here which is just this nicely painted silver part and we need to get this collar part here and that just pops over there push it down so it looks like that when that's all done and then we get the front part of the tool and just push that down there like that so that is all done um what you can do and what i recommend you should do is glue this part so that this part doesn't pop off halfway through the build so just going to get some glue here quite a bit of glue and just put it on the end there and just smooch that down actually i'm going to put more glue down at the base as well because it is all covered up so might as well splurge that down there like that and that will set and dry in place in due course keeping the glue out we then need to attach this part which is the main body of the tool into there just like that nice and simple so once again just glue alongside this part there and just push that in there oh there's lots of glue seepage let me just go clean that up there we go got to that quickly so it didn't make much of a mess um yeah and that will then set in place as well and then we need to get to this end which is a circle with a bit cut out a half circle and we need to push it into this black part here and we did this before with the other tool so it's no real different make sure that they line up and then once again Bludge it on. That is very loose fitting. That is very loose fitting. Why is that such a loose fitting? I really don't know. It shouldn't be. Ooh, can't get it in at all now. That is going to take a while for the glue to set on there. So while that sets, um, well, yeah, I'll just uh, not film it while it sets. Be right back. Okay, that has got some hold to it now, uh, which is good. <laughs> Blimey. Um, okay, then you need to get to this hinge part. Um, and we need to get... Actually, hold on, let me just double check. Right, okay. I just got the wrong screw out. Bear with me. Just make sure I have got the right screw. Yes, okay, so you need this screw. The one with the smooth end and the rigid um, ridge side. And you just push it in there like that. So it sticks out the other side like that. And then you get one of the nuts. And you need to screw it down into that nut is this not too big for the hole it shouldn't be we don't have different size nuts do we i think we do bear with me just a second oh yeah okay we do <laughs> sorry about that so yeah get the right size nut there we go that fits just in there like that and then hold that down and push this part in and it starts to take and then we just screw it down. Oh, I haven't actually put anything in the middle. Silly. Can you imagine? Right, let's put that through there. Like that, that through there, that on the other side. Put the nut in place. And then we can start screwing it down. There, like that. There we go. There he goes. Oh, ow. It's coming out the other side. <laughs> Make sure that you don't damage yourself with it. You want it tight enough so that it does move, but it is a tight fit. Like that. So just rotate like that. Looking very cool indeed. Um, this still isn't setting, so I'm just going to put just a drop more glue 
and then leave it to the side to really set for now. And while we're doing that, and by saying doing that, I mean waiting for the glue to dry, we're going to have a look at building the compartment where the tool goes in. So we have seen this before. We've got this interior part. The tool will screw in there when it's all dry. And we also need to attach the door to the de a department apartment as well. So um, you've seen me do this uh, many times now. We need to put these hinges and attach them to this white part of the door. You attach them on the outside of each hinge like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And sorry again for whisking away to do that, but I still struggle with getting these screws into these hinges. You know, luckily this is the last one, so I don't have to worry about it again. But yeah, I found it really hard to get the entirety of the screw, first of all, lined up so it goes in smoothly and then to really push it in without snapping these delicate plastic parts. But I did it and it's all looking good. And then of course they will screw in there like that so that that door opens and closes very nicely. And then of course we get the tool, which is now nice and dry. That will just pop in there as well so that that bends down and attaches in there as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw the tool in there and the door hinge in there. it is all done so it will be on like that you open the door and then you can just whip out r2d2's tool there i can't believe we just said that right okay um this part then needs to attach onto the part that i uh, uh i say i do or did on wednesday but i did it off camera and showed you on wednesday and you want it so that it's this way around so all of these screw holes just fit into place there like that and make sure that the door it's all lined up. I'm sure it will be when you screw everything in. So yeah, it would look like that when it's all screwed in and then that door will open and that will come out. And then what I'm going to do as well as screwing this part down is get the other side of um, R2D2 from the front, the one with these two tools in, as you can see, nicely housed in there. And I'm also gonna get the um, main Part. Oh no, this is the back. This isn't what I want. I get confused with R2-D2 body parts. I want this. I want the front of R2-D2 because what we're going to do um, with the parts that we get in issue 86, which are these parts here, is screw both sides of the front of R2-D2. That screw just came out. That's worrying. I wonder where that came out from. Okay, I'm going to sort out where that screw came out from and then attach both sides of R2-D2 like that to complete the front of the um of, of r2d2 so i'm just going to go ahead and do all this now i'll try and do as much as i can off camera but it does become difficult i'll whip it away either way i'll see you in just a moment well i didn't last very long doing that on camera did i <laughs> sorry about that it, it's just very very fiddly it's taken me about about, yeah, it's taken me about half an hour to screw all this down properly and i know that you guys enjoy my videos that's why i keep watching them but that would bore any man to tears. Uh, I'm talking over what is actually a fantastic bit of kit. Look at that. That is the front of R2-D2 all done. Complete within this little side, we have the tool that we did today. We have these, which we know open mechanically. We have this little part here, which opens. Let me just angle this up a bit. There you go. Sorry, I haven't really sorted out that background since Wednesday. Whoops. Uh, open up this bit, and we get another little bit of internal working, and then we have an, open up this flap, and get this tool out here and this tool out here so that is what r2d2 looks like with all his tools out i'm definitely gonna have to start changing my cam camera angle camera angle we're in a bit australian then definitely going to start changing my camera angle to fit all of r2d2 in but i think you can agree it's fantastic to be the kit i'm gonna stop doing that now sorry to any australians i did just offend um yeah, look at it. It's just gorgeous. And it all goes together pretty well, apart from that flappy door, which I know a lot of you have had problems with. Thank you for commenting about that down below. Uh, I might super glue it. I might add a little magnet just right on there. So it just goes... I probably will add the magnet to be fair rather than super glue it because I do want it all to open. And that is what it looks like. All done, all gorgeous. And of course, we got the front half now all done. And we have the back half 
all done as well so together when you put them on they fall apart look at that um i still don't know when we're screwing these bits down actually if indeed we are i'm sure we are but yeah look at that that will all line up so that part will become one complete grate there looking like that um and then these two screw holes here and hit these two screw holes right at the top here are what we're going to screw it down uh, with uh, as how we're going to screw it down to the frame um, we're not doing that for a while but that's how you screw it down to the frame and i guess cover these parts up in future i hope so but yeah it's getting there the body of r2d2 is getting there but moving aside from the body for just a moment we need to look at the parts which come in issue 87 which are these metal parts here and we moved on from the body to the head of r2d2 once again these will create a cross section so that we can um, that will attach to the head framework so that we then eventually can attach the head onto the body which would be awesome cannot wait to do that so to start off with then we just get one of these pieces here and sorry that i whisked that off camera i just was checking it against the screws that we use it says that you use 12 of these screws but i've only got nine of them so that's going to be interesting um let's see how we go on so this is the center of the bottom part of the dome and what we need to do is we need to put all of these parts which are labeled differently actually uh that is df67 this is df70 and this is df70 so actually it's only this one that's different and you can tell that because it's got this little spiky bit here um I'm just trying to work out. Okay. So you hold it this way around. So I'm just looking at the instructions while I do this. Hold it this way around. So these two circles facing down. So it looks like that. And then we get one of the DF70s. That is the part without the um, stick out part. One goes on there like that. And then the other one will go on there like that with the wording facing towards us and then this one will go on there like that so yeah that is how it goes on um, let's attach these DF 70 parts first so that we know that they are all in place Okay, these screws are not the right screws because they just pop out like that. Where am I going wrong here? Okay, I worked out what the problem is and a lot of you I know are probably screaming at me. Um, the problem was I was screwing them in the wrong way around. So it was the right screws, I was just screwing them in the wrong way around. I was screwing them inwards, so from the bottom to the top, rather from the top to the bottom. So you want it, so the screw heads are here like this, where this raised kind of... Uh, bullseye area is this cross section here and how you want it if you turn it around upside down so you have the two holes there you have this one coming off is df67 the one with this little sticky outy part that's where you want that and then you want the one that says one of the df70s coming out that way and the one that says two coming out that way and that is how you want this little cross section of the dome and the final thing that we are doing in this video i did promise that it wouldn't be all over the place but it turned out it was a bit is put we're putting in this ball bearing just into this circle here like that it pushes in nice and neat and then we're going to just make sure it stays in place by putting that little cap over the top there so um we get into the stage now of r2d2 where there's a lot of stuff finishing off which is awesome. Um, a lot of stuff. Um, well, you know, we finished. We finished the outer body today. We just need to put the um, the bottom of the body on. Uh, top of the body, of course, will be um, the dome, which is sort of what we're looking at now. Uh, the top of the body, and then of course we need to put the third foot onto R two D two, and then attach it up, and then it's pretty much done. So there's not much left to do on the old R two D two build. Um, I definitely will be doing it time for Christmas, but that was issue 86 and 87. 88 and 89 are next week, so I hope you will join me for that. Until then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.
I just want to thank my patrons. Without you guys, this video would not have been possible and this channel would be dead. So thank you very much.